lot of people have a plan to become financially independent or debt free and they go from point A to point B in their plan. But life is not like the plan, in fact. The reality is a lot different and mine definitely was. I had 10 years of work with zero dollars saved. 10 years with nothing to show for it, basically. I jokingly called this my low lights, not my highlights. But Becky said, they're not all low lights. So, um, but some of these are very low lights for me. I remember going to a bank and asking for a loan for a credit card. And the banker looked at my credit report and he said, I'm sorry, we can't do anything for you. And I said, well, for how long? You know, five years, 10 years? He looked at it and he looked up at me and he said, maybe never. I couldn't believe it. For a young father, a young, uh, Becky and I have been married for a couple years. We had a daughter on the way, I believe. And for a young dad to hear those words, it crushed me. It really crushed me. I wish I had someone at that time who would have said to me, Bill, don't give up. I've been where you are now. I can help you. You won't be here forever. Here's how you get from there, from where you are to where you want to go. When Becky and I first got married, we decided that she would quit her job. We wanted to have children right away, and we didn't want to have to adjust our income after um, we began having children. And it turned out we didn't have children right away. It took a while. It took about two years. And but we never had to adjust our income. It was. We've always been a one-income family, and we live in a two-income world, so it was very difficult at times to do that, but that's what we chose to do. There are a couple of benefits to being a one-income family. Uh, you pay less taxes, and um, you get if you have children, you get benefits for your children. 